everybody. My name is Carrie Rapp, and this is Mojo. You say hi. Mojo is a very young dog, and we are going to talk to you today about going to a mat. Now, we find going to a mat a very, very useful thing, especially with a young, energetic dog. And we just have these nice, cheap little mats we picked up at the store that have a rubber backing on them because the hard floor can be a little slippery and can freak a young dog out like that if he goes sliding on it. So we have a rubber band, not a very big one. And this has so many uses around the house. It's a great thing. If you have a dog that will go to his mat and stay on his mat, you are going to simplify your life with the dog so much. So this is great for just mopping the floor, just having him out of the way for a little bit, doing dishes, because he likes to come in and help. He likes to help a lot and lick the dishes for you in the dishwasher, getting dinner ready when they're all this clustered around you. Um, even to go on the road, this is great because these are small enough, we can just roll them up, hi oh, buddy. We can just roll them up and take them to grandma's house or take them to a friend's house or even outside this is nice because it's very washable. We can just throw it right in the wash if it gets dirty. So at a campsite, uh, the car is another place for it that's really nice. Even the vet's office, just about anything. And the dog feels a little more secure. He knows that this is his place. Bed. And it's a wonderful thing. It's just a wonderful thing. Now, a lot of information is out there about how to get your dog to go onto a mat using clicker training. But there's not a lot out there about how to get to the point where your dog will stay on the mat and all those kind of things using it in other locations. So next, I want to talk to you about those things. We call them the three Ds of fluency. So a behavior is fluent. When a dog will do it anytime, anywhere, under any conditions, that says that he knows it firmly. And so those three Ds are distance, distraction, and duration. So distance is you could be anywhere in the house and you say whatever the cue is for going to bed and he will go to his bed, which is real nice because if you're in another room and you, he you, know, you hear somebody coming in the door, you can tell him to go to his mat and he should do that. Now duration is the length of time he will stay on his bed. And what you want to do is have a dog that will stay there until you cue him to come off of the mat. And that, for us, the word is OK or a target to come to us. And then the last one was distraction, and that is a hard one. So um, you start with a very simple distraction, say just you moving around, being silly, taking a step away. And see, I did not cue him anything, so that's fine with me that he got up and did that. Oh, buddy. Yeah. And so those are the things we're going to show you in a little more detail and how to achieve that. But I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of all the things that is super fantastic for. And I think it's just the greatest foundation skill you can have for living very peacefully with a dog. It's just having a place for them to go, just to get out from underfoot, let you handle what you need to handle, and then releasing from it. So stay tuned. We will show you those three days of fluency next. Thank you.